Assalamu alaikum dear students how are you hope you are safe and sound I am also fine by the grace of Almighty Allah I am Ahmedullah lecturer at Rajputra Model College uh, students of class 6 I would like to take class on Bangladesh and global studies on chapter 13 sustainable development goals that is SDZ I have already taken uh, uh, many, cl many classes on uh, different chapters that is chapter 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 which were included in Hafil examination and two chapters that is chapter 11 and 13 is still remain incomplete so today I'll, I would like to uh, take class on chapter 13 sustainable development goal dear student let's start today's class chapter 13 sdg dear student you know united nations is the largest international organization which was established on 14 of 24th october 1945 from the very beginning this organization had been has been playing very significant roles to establish global safety, economic development, social progress, and cooperation. And with a view to developing the economic condition of the countries of the world, it initiated a development program which was known as MDZ or Millennium Development Goal in 2000. The main aims and objective of MDZ were making the world from free from hunger, poverty, disparity, disease, and environmental disasters. After the end of the period of MDG in 2015, the United Nations declared Sustainable Development Goals, that is SDC, with a fresh deadline in 2030 to assume them. Now, Lesson 1 Sustainable Development Goal. Before going to discuss Sustainable Development Goal, I would like to discuss on Sustainable Development Habitat, that is, residence. We live in a planet, it's called Earth. We get essential elements like oxygen, fuel, food, water, land, shelter from the nature of the Earth. We also enjoy the shades of the trees and beautiful weather of the Earth. But a close observation shows that our earth is constantly changing ecologically, economically and socially. We are using the resources of the world for various purposes, but the world is under change and we notice the change in ecology, economy and society. But what is the reason behind this change, behind the change of the earth, change in climate, change in weather? With the rise of world population, human demands and luxurious are also increasing. In order to meet these demands, human beings are trying to raise their status as well as their income by different ways. Therefore, they are taking part in different development activities, for example, they are building new houses, new residences, roads, culverts, bridges, industries, infrastructure, etc. The farmers are multiplying their production by utilizing fertilizer and pesticides. It has adverse impact on environment and biodiversity. If the farmers cultivate land naturally, they usually do not use fertilizer and pesticides but to get more crops the farmers are using fertilizer and pesticide and it will destroy the ecology it will uh, pollute the water that's why there is an adverse impact negative impact on our environment and biodiversity such type of development is not called sustainable development 
Actually, sustainable development is a kind of development which includes ecology, nature, environment, society, and economy. That is, we should use the natural resources without making any damage or harm to the natural resources. Then we call it sustainable development. Any kind of change, positive change is called development. But, but when we uh, continue development activities and we, damage, we are damaging or misusing the resources, it cannot be called sustainable development goal. Sustainable development goal is actually development activities without keeping the natural resources unhampered. Sustainable development is a process where future it is pivotal or very important. It puts equal emphasis on the protection of nature. That is, we do con we do continue development activities, but we should protect the nature. It presents demand without neglecting our future. Increasing production without using pesticides can be an example of sustainable development goals. Sustainable development emphasizes put emphasis on environment friendly farming that help keep natural resources of present and future time intact. That is, sustainable development is a development activities where farmers cultivate land but they will not destroy the natural ecology, environment, etc. Safeguarding human being and animal resources is also an example of sustainable development goal. That is, if, if we continue development activities, we cannot misuse the natural resources, we cannot uh, harm, do harm to any human being. Sustainable development does not only mean conservation of environment and economic development, rather it covers social and human development issues. That is, sustainable development uh, aims at conserving environment, economic development. It also includes the social and human development. For example, eradication of poverty through education, removing disparity from the society through collaboration between men and women, causing uh, casting votes peacefully, holding peaceful protests are also some issues under SDG. That is, SDG aims at eradicate poverty, ensure proper education, remove disparity between male, male and female. Uh, uh, it ensure a proper situation to cast vote peacefully and if there needs protest, the people can continue protest activity against the government. These are the uh, goals of SDG. Now lesson 2. Destined you have already learned what is SDG, why our ecology is going under uh, change, etc. Now lesson 2. The United Nations approved Sustainable Development Goals or SDG. The United Nations has significant roles towards the development of present world and addressing its challenge. In September 2000, the United Nations organized the Millennium Development Summit. In that summit, eight goals were fixed and placed were made to achieve them by 2015. That is, the United Nations arranged a conference in 2000, September 2000, and they aimed at uh, achieving eight goals by 2015. The eight goals were included First of all, eradication of extreme poverty and hunger. Second, universal primary education for all women empowerment, that is, empowered women uh, through education, service, uh, and raising their status in the family, society, and state to reduce child mortality rate, to 
improve maternal health, uh, to prevent HIV, AIDS, malaria and other deadly disease, to ensure sustainable environment and to build up global partnership for development. There is MDG aims at eight goals and they were their success, eradication of poverty and hunger, ensure primary education, empower women, reduce child mortality, improve maternal health, prevent deadly disease, ensure sustainable environment and build up global partnership for development that is global relationship for development. Meanwhile, the deadline for achieving Millennium Development Goal is over. As a continuation of MDG, the UN has declared Sustainable Development Goals, which has opened a new chapter of cooperation in the world. There are 17 specific goals of SDG, which were number one, ending poverty from all country in all forms by 2030. That is, we should remove poverty from all the countries of the world by 2030. One to ending hunger, receiving food security, improved nutrition and promoting sustainable agriculture. That is by promoting sustainable agriculture, we will uh, grow more crops, then we can end hunger and we can ensure uh, sufficient food for all. And in this way, we can ensure nutrition for all. Point three, Ensuring healthy life and well-being. Point four, ensuring inclusive and equitable educa quality education. That is, we have to impart equitable and exclusive, inclusive education for all human beings. Point five, achieving gender equality and empowering women and girls. That is, we have to remove gender discrimination and we have to establish women in the society state in our family and social life through education training service and raising their honor and prestige point six ensuring clean water and sanitation for all point seven ensuring affordable reliable sustainable and clean energy for all that is, we have to use clean fuel for our daily life. Point eight. Promoting sustainable economic growth and decent work for all. That is, we have to arrange the economic activities so that all people can adopt decent work or legal work. And in this way, we can promote economic growth that is sustainable economic growth through establishing decent and legal work point nine building disaster resistant sustainable infrastructure and promoting inclusive and sustainable industrialization and fostering innovation that is we have to build sustainable infrastructure long lasting infrastructure building school college university culvert bridge etc and we have to promote uh, uh, industry that is we have to set up more industry with uh, uh, social uh, norms and with social uh, and environmental uh, legal activities and last of all we have to foster new innovation for our future life. Point 10. Reducing inequality within and among the countries. Many countries of the world are developed, some are underdeveloped, some are developing. There are uh, discrimination among these countries. We have to uh, reduce the inequality or discrimination among the countries. Point 11, making cities and human settlements inclusive, safe and sustainable. That is, we have to make houses both in villages and cities that would be long-lasting and we have to establish 
such a human settlement that will be favorable for human beings for and for the future generation. Point 12. Ensuring sustainable consumption and production patterns. That is, we have to produce economic product on the basis of need and we have to consume them as per our demand with logic. Point 13. Taking urgent action to combat climate change and its impact. Dear student, the present world is going under change due to climatic problem and there are many problems we are facing due to climate change such as long time rainfall or short rainfall, uh, tornado climate, tornado cyclone, hot wave, cold wave, different kinds of a disaster we are facing due to change of climate. So we have to combat the climate change and its impact. Point 14. Conserving and using the seas, oceans and marine resources for sustainable development. There are many resources under the water and we have to manipulate them, use them and that would be sustainable for our development. Point 15. Protecting, restoring and promoting use of terrestrial ecosystem, managing forest, combating desert, desertification and reversing land erosion, land degradation, last of all halting biodiversity loss. That is we have to protect the life that is animals, birds, insects on the land, in the forest. We have to save the forest trees. We have to prevent desertification. We have to uh, remove land erosion on the river, in the river bank area. And last of all, we have to stop biodiversity loss. Point 16. Promoting peaceful societies for sustainable development, providing access to justice for all and building effective and accountable institutions at all levels. That is, we have to maintain peace and discipline in every sphere of our social life. We have to establish justice for all irrespective of, irrespective of caste, creed, religion, etc. And we have to ensure accountability and responsibility in all our democratic state and social institutions at all levels. Point 17, the last point of SDG, strengthen the global partnership for sustainable development. That is, we have to establish and make a strong global relationship among the countries to attain sustainable development goal by 2030. So dear students, these are the 17 uh, goals of SDC. You have to memorize these points, write them several times, study regularly. Pray for me, I will pray for you. No more today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.